One of the most histor historic moments in Youngstown history lasted only 10 seconds, but the images they generated told people the era of Big Steel was over. That moment was 35 years ago tomorrow when the four remaining blast furnaces at the U.S. Steel Ohio Works were demolished. Tonight, a 27 First News special report on what it meant then and what it means now. On a Wednesday afternoon in early April, I toured the ruins of the Ohio Works blast furnaces, walking along what is appropriately called Ohio Works Drive. The center of the blast furnace is pretty much lined up with this, pretty much the center of this road. I was joined by steel historian Rick Rollins and former Ohio Works employee Carl Jacobson, who brought along the July 1982 U.S. Steel Employee magazine with the now famous photo on the cover. And they were numbered from this end, two, three, four, and five. Chuck, are you clear? I'm clear. On the morning of April 28, 1982, two and a half years after U.S. Steel closed the Ohio Works, a crowd gathered around the blast furnaces to watch the highly publicized demolition. A concession stand was set up for U.S. Steel executives and their wives. The steel workers were kept behind a wall. Explosives were set under each furnace. They have a charge behind the legs, and they're going to physically blow the leg away. When it came time for the demolition, there was a countdown. The hurt don't come for us, it comes for the young guys. Just like uh, losing a good friend. One. This used to be a heck of a steel town at one time. Fire! Looks real good from here, Doug. I saw no flood. It was a media event with photographers and reporters given open access, which allowed for taping from several different angles. The low angle is most often seen, but crews were also set up for a wide shot, and then this one from across the tracks. People showed up to see the most visual possible symbol that we could get that an era is over. YSU history professor Tom Leary helps run Youngstown's Steel Museum, where the famous picture by Vindicator photographer Paul Schell of the blast furnaces halfway down graces two large walls fronted by a fence with the steel workers looking on. And this image has served uh, not just for Youngstown, but for the whole process of the contraction of the American steel industry. There is not much left here, Ohio Works, that was part of U.S. Steel. But what is left was part of operating the blast furnaces, a concrete wall, the date 1940, barely visible through the weeds, and an electrical tower that brought in power. Today, the old Ohio Works is an industrial park lined with businesses, the occasional semi working its way down Ohio Works Drive, the people working there, most likely oblivious to what happened here 35 years ago. According to Tom Leary, that was the last time U.S. Steel ever held a public demolition. All those that followed were all done quietly.